Welcome to our epic voyage through the high seas as we embark on a quest to uncover the best TV shows about pirates. From dangerous treasure hunts to legendary battles, these series bring the exhilarating tales of piracy to life like never before. So get ready to set sail on a thrilling adventure as we delve into the swashbuckling world of pirates. A quick disclaimer before we start, keep in mind that in this countdown we're featuring only live action shows, which is why the One Piece anime series is not on this list, and that these series are listed in no particular order. With that out of the way, this is TV Show Pilot, and here are our top 8 TV shows about pirates. One Piece. I'm setting out to follow my dream. To find the One Piece. And become King of the Pirates! We'll start off with the newest show on this list, Netflix's One Piece. This live-action adaptation of Achira Oda's beloved manga series follows the adventures of Monkey D. Luffy and his ragtag crew of pirates as they search for the legendary treasure known as the One Piece. But the Straw Hat Pirates aren't the only ones scouring the world for this treasure. So, with both the Navy and other rival crews on their tail, the Straw Hats have to brave the perilous journey through dangerous oceans to achieve their goal. Black Sails Man of War Royal Navy Scarborough Scout reports in Boston And today she doesn't She's got the wind of us Cut us loose, get us on the way Another highly popular pirate series is Star's Black Sails this historical drama serves as a prequel to the events in Robert Louis Stevenson's classic novel, Treasure Island. Set in the early 18th century, during the golden age of piracy, the show takes viewers on a thrilling voyage through the violent and treacherous world of pirates. We follow the infamous Captain Flint as he partners with the cunning Long John Silver to find Urca de Lima, a Spanish ship carrying a large amount of gold and silver. Our flag means death. Others may be wounded. Still others may come back looking totally fine, but in reality, be mentally devastated by what they've witnessed. So, if that's the case, what will we do? On a lighter note, we have HBO Max's comedy series Our Flag Means Death, which provides quite a unique take on pirate lore. Also set in the early 18th century, the show follows the misadventures of Steed Bonnet, an English aristocrat turned pirate who abandons his privilege in favor of a life of crime on the high seas, despite having no knowledge or skills for it. Along the way, Captain Bonnet and his dysfunctional crew are forced to team up with the notorious pirate Blackbeard to be able to survive their swashbuckling ways. Blackbeard I'm calling for a vote! Right here, right now, if you make me your captain. We're gonna take that French ship and we're gonna eat her food and drink her liquor tonight! Speaking of Blackbeard, in 2006, the Hallmark Channel came out with a miniseries about the famed pirate. The show delves into the life and exploits of the infamous pirate Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard. We are offered a fictionalized portrayal of Blackbeard's exploits, as he navigates the dangerous waters of the Caribbean in search of Captain Kidd's treasure, all while Robert Maynard, a lieutenant of the British Royal Navy, is hot on his heels to destroy his ship and Blackbeard himself. Crossbones I hope I'm Commodore of this island. Blackbeard. We don't use that name, man. Of course, forgive my gaucheness, Commodore. It's just that you appear to be... Well, you appear to be more robust than many would have led me to believe. I wonder what drove you to the physician's life. Another tale that centers on the legendary pirate Blackbeard is NBC's short-lived series Crossbones. Inspired by Colin Woodard's novel The Republic of Pirates, the show is set in 1729 on a hidden island called Santa Campania, which Blackbeard now uses as his base of operations. 
Tom Lowe, a British spy, is sent to infiltrate Blackbeard's ranks and steal the navigation device that could help the British Empire further expand their dominion. But the plan goes horribly awry when Lowe finds himself taken by Blackbeard's charm and conviction. Treasure Island. My job. Then we have Sky One's Treasure Island, which, as the name might suggest, is a modern adaptation of Robert Louis Stevenson's timeless adventure novel. The two-part series follows young Jim Hawkins as he embarks on a perilous journey to find the legendary treasure of the infamous pirate Captain Flint. With the help of the enigmatic Long John Silver, Hawkins navigates treacherous waters and encounters a cast of morally ambiguous characters on the way to the fabled island, the Lost Pirate Kingdom. Until a single event turns the Caribbean upside down. July the 23rd, 1715, the most valuable flotilla in history leaves Havana for Spain. The so-called Plate Fleet is laden with gold and silver mined in Spanish colonies in South America. Netflix's The Lost Pirate Kingdom is an interesting mix of documentary and scripted series. This docudrama delves into the thrilling history of the golden age of piracy in the 18th century, focusing mainly on the Pirate Republic based in Nassau, Bahamas. Combining documentary-style narration with dramatic reenactments, the series explores the lives, exploits, and motivations of some of the most infamous pirates of the era, such as Blackbeard, Anne Bonny, and Charles Vane. Once Upon a Time Is that it? Hi. Neverland. And we'll end off this list with the only series that's not primarily about pirates, but that prominently features one. ABC's Once Upon a Time is set in the fictional town of Storybrooke, Maine, where fairy tale characters are living with no memories of their true identities. The town's only hope to break the curse and restore everyone's memories lies with Emma Swan, Snow White and Prince Charming's daughter, who was transported to the real world before the curse was cast. Among the characters that are introduced on this show is the pirate Captain Hook, who, unlike the villainous image we've come to know in other Peter Pan adaptations, turns out to actually be one of the good guys and even falls in love with Emma. Do you agree with our picks for the top 8 TV shows about pirates? Let us know in the comments! Check out tvshowpilot.com for the full list of the best pirate series, and don't forget to subscribe to the TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.